our friends at stores at DF Designs. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my do's and don'ts challenge with Fiona Art. Fiona Art had a, uh, challenged me when she did her do's and don'ts. I forgot who she did it with now. I'm sorry, Fiona. Um, and she challenged me and I gave her challenges back. And you'll have to go watch her video to see what her challenges were. But... I will tell you, my three do's are to use red. Well, I got two colors of red. I got pyro red and carmine red. Both are Amsterdam paints. Use silicone. Well, I ordered the same silicone she uses, which is the Pent Art silicone oil. And to do finger dips or, or marble rolls or both, okay? That shouldn't be too hard. <sighs> Okay, now my don'ts are don't use gold. Well, you can see there's a Windsor Blue. Uh, this is a copper. Uh, the amps. Hang on. The uh, Amsterdam copper. This is uh, black, and this is white. And so I have no gold. And she said no canvas smaller than 10 by 10. Well. I got an 11 by 14 here off to you know off to the side and don't use a square canvas well 11 by 14 isn't square so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put two drops of silicone oil in each of the of these three cups because I don't want silicone oil in my black or my white or my metallics so let's see Okay, come on. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, now I gotta mix those up. And then I'm gonna layer my cup. Okay, that's the pyro red mixed with the silicone. The Windsor Blue by Windsor & Newton. My paints, all of my paints are mixed three parts uh, flow troll to one part paint. Um, and a little bit of water added for consistency because the black is an Anita's black because that was the only one I could find mixed already. And it's a little thinner than the others. So I put a little bit of water in the others. Okay, there's my three silicone colors. This is, this is my titanium white by Amsterdam. So I'm going to put, um, you know what, I want to put a little bit of black down first because I'm going to do a black base. So I'm going to do a little bit of black. Okay, then I'm going to do a little bit of the, of the carmine red that's got silicone in it. I'm doing rather thin layers because I want them to be kind of, you know, out there. Okay, this one is the metallic. Wait a minute, I didn't steer this up. This one is the metallic copper by Amsterdam. Because I think copper goes with reds and blues, so we, we will find out, won't we? Okay. Now, I'm going to put the Windsor Blue on there. I'm doing small layers. Let me set that down right there. So, yeah, you can see it. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of white on top of that. And then I'm going to put some of the pyro red in there. And I'm going to repeat the colors. And I do have my back taped off. And I got my uh, Glad Pressing Seal on there. If you want to know how I do that or why I do that, I will link the video up in the upper corner and in the description. It's called How to Keep Your Backs Clean, I think. I think that's the name of it. <laughs> I'm a little lost, sorry. But I will link it up up above and I will also link it um 
um, in the description. Okay, let me see. I'm going to put some copper right here. And I'm going to put some blue on top of the copper. I don't have much blue left, so let me just... That's the last of the blue, but I made sure I only had enough colors mixed up for just this one, because I don't normally use silicone, and this is why Fiona challenged me to use silicone. Okay, there is the last of the blue. Uh, let me put a little bit of white on top of it, which has no silicone in it. I hope I do Fiona proud with this. Okay, let me put this darker red. And now I'm going to put the last of the black that's in the cup down. And I should have put more black in the cup, but I do have some of the black in a bottle. They both don't have silicone, so it doesn't matter. Okay, now I'm going to do, I'm going to do the last, the, the, little bit of the pyrrole red. Remember, this has got silicone in it. And, yeah, I have a little bit left of this. So let me put the last of the copper on top of this. I'm not going to do a paint grenade. I'm just going to flip it after I put a base coat on. Okay, did I use? Yeah, I used up all of that. And I'm going to just leave that the way it is, okay? But I wanted to do a base. Well, first I'm going to just do a puddle. Um just a little puddle to flip my cup into. This is just the regular black, no silicone in it. Okay, I don't know how thin, there we go, it's moving. Let me torch out the air bubbles I saw in there. Okay. Now, I'm going to flip it like a boss. Eh, still got a little bit of a mess. Okay. Tap, 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 tap. While I'm waiting for that to fall, I'm going to put a little bit more black around it and spread it out to the corners. So it has something to slide on it. It's probably going to be too much paint, but you know what? As Brian likes to say, you never have too much paint. Uh, let me use... Uh, it's not dirty on the back. I want to make sure I get black all the way up to the edges because it's a white canvas. I know I should have painted my side, should have painted my my top, but I, w I had the colors pulled out and I just said oh, I'm going to go for it. You know, nothing like facing fear head on, right? And yes, I'm a little scared how this is going to turn out, but hey, you know, I'm up for trying new challenges. 
Okay. Let me clean my knife off. Ah, it's not working. I need to get a napkin. Clean off my palette knife. Okay. I do see a couple of cells right there, so I'm going to do a flip. Ooh, look at all those cells. And then I'm going to do a lip right down the middle. And I think I'm going to go across this way. That looks like it's good enough. Of course, you can't see any cells in the cup. So let me just put that over there. Ooh, I got lots of cells. I only put two drops in each of the colors. Okay, let me pop air bubbles that might be in there. Well, I definitely will be doing some marble rolls. So first, uh, let me move cups out of the way that are right behind the painting. Okay, let's tilt this little guy and see what he's going to do. I got enough paint I can let it roll off the edge without a corner catcher. Bring it back to the middle. Well, might as well, it's heading that way. Might as well go all the way to the other corner. Ooh, I got lots of cells. Okay, now, let me see if I got enough paint to get it to go off. Oh yeah, I got plenty of paint to go to throw off that corner. Well, I didn't get any negative space. I wasn't trying to. Okay, let me clean my gloves off and assess the situation. Now let me drag a little paint down on these corners that didn't get covered. My sides are covered fine. That's the nice part. The sides are covered really good. Okay. And I just want to stop it from dripping. Okay, first, I guess, let me take off my gloves and put new ones on because these are covered in black. Black is messy to work with. No, no doubt about it. Black is messy to work with. white popping through. Not that I wanted it to. I'm not sure which way I should be really... Oh, look at that. I got some more white right there. Let's see what I got here. I'm going to put on another pair of gloves and pull out the marbles. First I want to do some marble rolls and then I'm going to do, uh, she said do finger dips, you know, the flowers she likes to do or to do marble rolls or both. So I'm going to do some marble rolls and then I want to see kind of what might be left with the cells to see if any of them I can turn into little flowers. This is a dark painting. I am so sorry about that. That I can I mean I can't get my I can't bring my light up any higher or it'll blow out the the uh, pad around it. So let me ha ah. let 
me get the marbles. Well, I'm going to use the stainless steel balls instead um, because they're just heavier. Okay. I got a river there and I got a river there, but I kind of want to get something to go through this big area. So let me start here. You want to go slow. You don't want to go too fast. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do a little loop-de-loop -loop through this white. Oh, that's real pretty that it made. I'm just trying to do a, a S shape pattern right here. I'm going to be able to do it one more time this way. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to let that one fall. Ah. I think it still needs some marble rolls over there, but first, let me get my marble out of here so I will know where they're at so I can put them in the water after this video. Okay. I've got some wicked looking cells in this. I'm going to start one over here. Oh, there's some white I'm bringing up. Look at that. Okay. Do a loop there. Trying to do kind of a little paisley pattern, but it didn't exactly work. So I'm still feeling it's needing something right here. So let me try. I'm gonna I'll, because it's on top. I will do a glass marble through this to see if the lighter weight does a little bit better. Do a loop. This is not as easy as you all think it might be, especially when you try and do little loops. Okay, let me get a loop through this white. see what I can do with this white right here. Okay. That looks like I got enough marble rolls. Now, let's take a look and see if there's any place I can do some little finger dips to make some flowers. Well, you know what? Okay. First off, I gotta change gloves again. Told you black is messy. But I'm also going to torch it a little bit more and see if any more cells come up.
This is wild looking. Oh, Fiona, look what you made me do. <laughs> and at the end, when I showed you the dried piece, because I am going to wait a couple of days to uh, cap, cap, cap this off with a, with a dry result, not varnished because I can't clean it for a couple of weeks and I don't want to make Fiona wait that long. But in about three, four days when it's dry, I will show you the dried piece and I will tell you who I challenge. So you have to stay tuned to the end for that. Okay, come on glove. It's not easy to put gloves on sweaty hands. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to cut this part out. Okay, now that I got new gloves on, okay, let's see, uh, oh, I'm going to need a paper towel to wipe my finger off. Uh, let's see where I might get some little flowers from. Ah, that one turned into a flower, yay! I did a flower! Nope, not enough cells there for it to turn into a flower. Okay. I'm bad about judging which ones I should make into flowers. Well, that one kind of did. Nope. Not enough brown cells there to make it into a flower, so let's see. Nope, not there either. Hmm, kinda. Okay, I'm gonna have to say that this guy is done. Let me wipe off my edges one more time, and I'll bring them up for a close-up. So stay tuned for the dried results and who I am making do the challenge. Well, not making, but asking them to do the challenge with me. So, tell me what you think. Did I do good on Fiona's challenge? I used red, I used silicone, I did marble rolls and a couple of finger dips. Can't really see them that well. Well, there's one right there. <laughs> and I didn't use gold and I used no canvas. I didn't use a canvas smaller than 10 by 10. And I didn't use a square canvas. So stay tuned for the dried results. Let me bring it up one more time because it's going to look totally different in the dried results. So I will be right back with the dried results. And here she is, all finished. Um, I want to tell you, I had so much fun doing this, so thank you, thank you, Fiona, for 
challenging me because she knew I'm not a silicone user. And you can see I got marble rolls and I had a few finger flowers in there, but I think they kind of disappeared. Well, there's one right there. Anyway, so listen, I want to say thank you to Fiona for challenging me. It was fun, girl. And I want you, um, everybody to go over and check hers out if you haven't checked hers out yet. Thank you for watching mine. Now the big reveal is the person I've challenged is Sarah Mac Art. So as soon as she gets back and we discuss it, our videos will be up. So thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. And tell me down in the comments what you think. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And give it a thumbs up if you liked it, okay? I'm thinking the orientation might look better this way. Because that almost looks like a little flower right there, and so does that. But then maybe... <laughs> See, I don't know. <laughs> so... We'll figure that out, or let's just say whoever buys us will figure that out. So, thank you all for coming in. I enjoyed your company, and I hope you liked the video. And all I can say is, bye for now.